Hello everyone, welcome to the very first, the very first podcast of Turned Heads. Uh, I am Graham Hunting Ireland, as you know from the Twitch place. You know from the Twitch place, we also got uh, my co-host Nexie. How are you doing today, Nexie? Yeah, I'm good. Good. There she is, there she is. We were Hello. Just, we were just discussing, um, we were just discussing the shit before the actual start of the, the recording of this. And uh, Nexie has just informed me that she has, she has a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? It is the smallest glass. It's 11.22 a.m. 11.22 a.m. <laughs> Jesus. And I thought I was bad. It's brunch. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so this is basically our, our podcast is going to be like basically me and next is going to be talking about uh, different topics that use basically anybody that puts in the po- uh, podcast topics on discord we normally will be talking about literally everything i hope if you're prepared for that next area yeah i think i am <laughs> are you sure these topics are fucked all right so- i think i'm prepared uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How was your week, by the way how was your week uh, uh this week uh <laughs> Did you do anything exciting yet? Um, I say not particularly. Well, actually, I'm currently creating a video at the moment. Mm. Um, it's going to be my year Twitch stream plug. anniversary. Plug, <laughs> plug, plug, plug. Sorry, no, you're not. Sorry. It's our podcast. Are you, are you mental? Um, uh, by the way, go and follow next day if you haven't followed next day. Make sure you do. Uh, she is a Twitch streamer also. Just a wee bit of backstory about next day. She is a Twitch streamer also. Um, blonde hair, glasses. Uh, <laughs> my Stephen Merchant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! We just need a Carol Pilkington now, and we'll be sorted. Um, so we got a few topics here. We got a few that we have to discuss today. We're uh, this podcast is going to be an hour long, by the way. We're going to do it weekly. We'll try and uh, upload every Saturday, by the way, and uh, we'll see how 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 we do. How's your tea going? How's your tea? The next day is your tea warm, cold? What's going on with it? It's lukewarm. Getting there. <laughs> what, what, what were you doing? It are you drinking? Are you drinking the tea and drinking the wine at the same time? No, not at the same time. No, <laughs> I've got it like to ha- the wine to hand just in case I need it. <laughs> That's the weirdest cocktail ever. Yeah. I don't think it's you'll fine. need it. I don't think you'll need it. No. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, yeah. By the way, by the way, for people who are listening to this, Nexie uh, told me, "Oh my God, does she not know me? This not know me at all." Nexie told me, "Okay, we have to do this podcast from either from nine a.m. nine a.m. till about five p.m." I was like, "Jesus, I'm never up about them times." <laughs> I've never. Well, I said I could be up at eight o'clock in the morning. But more than likely, you would have been hung over. <laughs> No, I'll be still drunk. What are you on about? I would have been still <laughs> drunk. Not hungover, still drunk. <laughs> uh, you're one to talk your drinking at 11.24, so uh, I'd be... Well, I'd, that's like brunch. Say what? It's brunch. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, right, I would actually be going to bed, like, probably around this time now, <laughs> being drunk. Yeah. And you're starting. Um, shall we talk about, this, uh, talk about these uh, topics now, or what do you want to do? Uh, let's go for it. All right. Well, we got the first topic of uh, of. Uh, oh my god! Uh, I just looked at. It. <laughs> I just looked at it. We got the first topic uh, from the Discord. It's coming from Hapno, or uh, how he has named himself. Graham's adopted son Hapno. Um, <laughs> uh, best porn genre. Um, and underneath that, uh, from Deadly is hentai. Straight away. Straight away. Uh, with uh, with hentai being mentioned, do you got any uh, insight on this? Do you have any? Um, do you have any uh, thoughts on on porn? I say no comment. But I say about the hentai. I think the closest thing to that is just watching any anime. To be honest, <laughs> oh, say, I, don't, I don't know. I like. It. Well, yeah, I would say so. Um, Pokemon. There were some uh, some things from Pokemon that got um, cut out because it was too raunchy, wasn't it? Yeah, well, there was that band episode. Was it like a beach scene? Yeah, with James like, and his boobs. Yes, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so what's your thoughts on porn? Do you have any thoughts on porn? Like, do you know what? The funny thing is there is porn out there. there I remember when we were younger and there was a guy that... Um, um, I won't say his name, but... Uh, there was a guy who used to go to this website. I don't even know if it exists anymore. Um, so it was all like kind of the bloopers of porn. 
And like, oh. yeah, this guy was like about. It's actually a blue for real. No, but the, like, it's, it's actually a proper website that has like um, all bloopers of different porns and stuff. And uh, I can't remember what the website is. I'm guaranteeing everybody will be trying to look it up now when they hear this. But um, <laughs> I remember one of the videos that they showed was um, what, what he showed was um, I think they were having sex in the in the recording. And um, I think she accidentally shit herself. Um, <laughs> something in the lines of that. I think she shit herself on the bed or something and they were just laughing and joking. But I think that happens a lot in the porn industry, so I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know. Does that ever happen to you when you're... <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> when you're on your adventures, when you're on your uh, recording, one of your recording videos. Hey, not that I'm... <laughs> I'm not a porn star or anything. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, uh, what are you saying? I'm just trying to just trying to give uh, people a, a little insight to your uh we all know what you do. Um Yeah. <laughs> but it is weird. There is some there is some genres out there that's that's kind of weird. There's like what what was that um there was one that was like kinda like where they they were dressed up as horses or some shit. They were like horses or dogs or some shit and the, I, I don't understand some of the, the stuff that that people enjoy it's weird they're like as hentai hentai as, has you ever have you ever seen a hentai no but I say like I said uh, some animes are a little bit like on the borderline so it's like <laughs> mm, but because uh. I know in Japan I know in Japan that uh, in porn they actually block out they actually blur the images uh, so they blur the genitals um, for some weird reason, um, mm. uh, which is very odd because if you were trying to like, uh, you're trying to like go to a sperm bank and you're trying to like, you know, d do the job uh, to see if you're f fertile, uh, <laughs> and all you're seeing is blurred images, <laughs> you'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, you imagine a training video like for a gynecologist or something. Yeah, <laughs> You're like, what well, what can I do? <laughs> yeah, because they actually like. Uh, did you know that? Did you know that they blurred the images? No. Yeah, they blurred. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, I don't know how I know this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> I have no idea how I know this. This is, uh, okay, okay. yeah, it was just a website I read up on, um, <laughs> 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 oh, 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 God, I'm blushing. I'm not keep digging that hole, keep digging that hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even on camera and I'm blushing. What the hell? I don't even know why I know that. Excuse me. But what's your thoughts on it? I don't, I don't quite understand it because if you're gonna just do a porn, then <laughs> you might as well just show everything if yeah, you're in that industry. That, but that's not. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in general, like, um, like because girls is worse than guys. Girls watch porn as much as men do. Is that not true? I suppose it's each to their own, isn't it? Like, <laughs> I can't believe this everyone's got their. Everyone's got. Everyone's got their personal interest yeah in... but i can't i really can't believe this is the first topic we're talking about i know first oh, podcast okay. first podcast what do you talk about oh fuck uh porn let's get in there and get it out there as quick as possible <laughs> <laughs> this is like like the videos are... oh, yeah great. quickly in and out <laughs> yeah quickly in and out uh, yeah you see, you caught up with my joke there. I'm proud of you. Yeah. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm trying to think of other genres of porn there is. I could actually look it up now in Google. Uh... <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't keep that on your browser history. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just look it up real quick, right? We're here. We're here now. I'll just go to. Uh, I, I want your opinion on these uh, titles uh, for genres of porn. Oh my god! I just. <laughs> oh my oh, god! No. The first thing I see. Oh. <laughs> Oh hi there. Uh, hopefully something not uh, something doesn't happen during this. All right, all categories. Um, oh wow. Right here's uh, here's the first three categories. Uh, ten plus ten plus inch cock. Uh, Eighteen year old. Eighteen year old Asian. Um, ar 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 I can't even say this word. Oh what? Ar Arabatic. <laughs> What? Aerobatic? Uh, what? Is it acrobatic? Acrobatic, yeah. 
What did I say? Aerobatic? Aerobatic. <laughs> adorable, adorable Asian, adorable Chinese, adorable Indian, adorable <laughs> Japanese, adultery, uh, aerobics, affair. God, my God, there are so many categories. Oh, no. I'm just scrolling down. Holy shit. I love the way the last category is young Thai. Um, uh, there's yacht. There's yacht porn. Yacht. Yeah, yacht, yoga, yoga instructor, uh, uncensored, uncut dick. <laughs> <laughs> Vampire, van, what the fuck, van porn? Uh, wet, weird, uh, wedding, uh, widow, white, whoop. Wheel tail? What the fuck's a wheel tail? What's a what is I that? I, I, I'm seriously <laughs> reading this off. <laughs> I seriously am reading it off this uh, this website right now. Uh, this is so weird. Um, well, I suppose the topic is is the weirdest porn, or is, or is it the best porn? Is it the weirdest porn or the best porn? I can't remember. Weirdest porn is it? <laughs> Hopefully, the weirdest. No, it's the best porn. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Um, let's see, uh, what else do we got here? Rubber? Rubbing? PVC? Oh. I don't even know what that is. It's like a kind of plastic. <laughs> I don't like I don't know if they have plastic wrap or something, I don't know, that's... I don't like know. some sort of bondage, maybe? I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I like the way you went, ooh. <laughs> 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 let's see what else. <laughs> Uh, this one's kind of confusing. Own cum. What? what? Own cum. Like, is that, is that... I don't even know what that is. Uh, music. <laughs> Muscles. Muff diving. <laughs> oh, Lucky? What the hell? Lucky? Uh, long nails, long legs, long hair, lollipop, uh, locker room, loads of cum. Um, Jesus Christ, there's so much. Like, seriously, the, like... If you could hear my mouse right now, I'll start from the beginning, right? This is my mouse. I'll bring it close up to the mic, right? Ready? This is okay. my, this is me scrolling down the page. That's... Could you hear that? I could just about hear that. Yeah, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Holy fuck! I didn't... Really, I didn't... Hooters, horny... I was actually thinking about calling this podcast Hooters. Uh, but... <laughs> I wasn't. No. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, dorm, deck, deck flash, dildo, dirty, dirty talk, disco, disco. Uh, dog style. To be honest, this is already a head turn. To be honest. What? What's this it? is already turning heads. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> tree, tree. Uh, let me plug up the name there. Um, bubble butt, uh, bukaki, bunny, boss. Bosh, businesswoman, busty, busty, amateur. My God, Jesus! There's so many. Armpit? What? Armpit? Oh, God. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is odd. This is odd. And then again, you get so many people like turned on by different kinds of body parts. I mean, uh, I can't even. Yeah. I don't even want to. Three uh, D. Like even, huh? Three D also. Three D part. Oh, is that like? Animated or something. There's some, so uh, I don't know what to. I uh, I don't know what the best porn is. I have no. I have no thought on it. If I can just, um, <laughs> if I <laughs> uh, if it makes me happy, I'm happy. Um, there's football, foot job, foot worship, foot fetish, food bottling, Florida, uh, flirting, flexibility, flat chested. Oh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, my, my history on my internet is going to be fucking shocking. Um, <laughs> I think we've talked enough about this topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Thanks, no, for that. Thanks, no. Uh, we've got next person, Carnival Viking here. Most embarrassing moment. Do you have one? Um. you got to have one next. I say, yeah, just talking about porn. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck. That's, that's as embarrassing, no. yeah. Um, no, actually, there is one time that sticks in my mind, and it's just something... I would easily do because I'm so ditzy, but I actually never thought it'd ever happen. What, so, was it, something, was it something with you? Yeah. Uh, okay, go on. <laughs> so, it, anyway, it, it sounds a bit dull, but I rang up and ordered a Chinese takeaway um, for a collection for me and my family. Mm -hmm. As they persisted on making me make the phone call. Yeah. Um, 
in, in honestly in this day and age we'd usually just order online yeah. <laughs> but the town my family live in it's very old-fashioned um anyway the order was accepted and about 30 minutes later we went to collect it <laughs> your, and your town your town's that old-fashioned that you instead of using the internet for takeaway you or delivery you send out carrier pigeons <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But anyway, um, <laughs> it's shaky. Um, he waits in the car. Um, he drives me down there. Um, I go in and ask for my order, and they tell me, "Sorry, what's the name?" I repeat it, and they said no order was made. I persisted in telling them I rang half an hour ago and listed all the items I'd ordered. Where did you? Then I got your, my. Did you use your real name or did you use your? No, no, no. no. <laughs> anyway. Then I got my phone out and realised I rung the other Chinese takeaway across oh town. God. Oh my god, what? what? People waiting... <laughs> People waiting for their orders were staring at me like I was some sort of lunatic. <laughs> but I ended up apologising, walking out the door empty-handed, with Shaky just looking at me in disbelief. Okay. Um, was, it the they... same, was it the same franchise? Uh, no, it wasn't even the same franchise. It was just... I think what had happened, I'd end up googling the takeaways. Mm. And for some reason, I clicked on the other number of the other takeaway in that town. <laughs> well, how big's your how big's your town? Um. Well, in that town, it's not particularly big. I think there's only like three Chinese takeaways, and I ended up just managing to read them. All. <laughs> are they just? Are they just named? Do they not have a name? It's just instead of just like whatever, what the uh, what Chinatown. Oh, they, when they no, when they run, when I answer, they just say Chinese. That's it. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, so they're all called Chinese, and, and you're talking. Chinese. <laughs> uh, you're borderline <clears throat> racist here, uh, Nixie. <laughs> no, it's not, no, no. They literally all they say on the phone is, "Oh, it's you're the basically, Chinese." You're basically saying they're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Nixie, you're racist. You're racist. I'm Nixie. not. You're putting words into my. I'm not putting anything in your mouth. You are. I would never do that. Um. So, uh, uh, you know, obviously everybody knows the story about uh, the Green Day concert. Um, oh, <laughs> everybody knows that story about the Green Day concert. I, it, is an, <laughs> it is an embarrassing, it is an embarrassing moment. I have to say, it is an embarrassed moment. Um, in case you don't know about this story, I'll just say it real quick. Um, so I was, I don't think it's, is it my most embarrassing? I don't think so. I've done a lot of sh stupid shit. Uh, yeah. Like, I've done a lot, like, even there on stream one time, like, my ball was shown and you didn't even know. Uh, oh, no. Did you, did I, did I not tell you about that story? No, it's oh, that so, one. so I was like, <laughs> do you remember when I cut up my jeans and I had, like, kind of short shorts? Yes. There was a hole, there was a hole in, uh, in the shorts. I didn't oh, realize no. that my, one of my balls was sticking out. <laughs> um, I had to delete the video. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. oh well, uh, but I don't think that's the. Mo I think with the Green Day, uh, the Green Day gig uh, in Belfast, I think it was probably the very first time I was drinking heavily because I would ha like when I was younger, I was only about sixteen, seventeen, but I think I was I was drinking drinking. Um, I think I was drinking vodka out of a a River Rock bottle, which is kind of like Ballygarn. I don't know if you used to have it in England, but... Um, mm, don't know. No, I don't uh, think so, so. It's just like a bottle of water. And, okay. Uh, so I was drinking uh, vodka out of a, a bottle of water bottle, and uh, I was walking toward... I was with my parents, and it was really, really bad. Like, it was a really bad night. I was walking with my parents to go to the Green Day concert, so I was pretty, I was pretty steamed, like I was pretty drunk. And... Um, I remember when I went. I never told you this part, by the way. I never told you this part. So, I, when we went to the, when I went to the gig, I was on my own. Mum and dad went went away again. Uh, I think they went about town until the gig was over. But when um when I uh, when I actually went to the big mass arena, um, they took me to uh, like they uh, instructed me to my my seat. I was like, Jesus. Like, I couldn't even see the stage. That's how far back it was. Oh. I was really, um. Yeah, I was really far back. And um, I was wearing a Green Day shirt and it was like a, a, an old Green Day shirt that I was wearing. And, and there was this old, old, like, stewardess or bouncer or whatever. And she was old. Like, yeah. She was an old woman and she was only about four foot three or something like that. She was really small. <laughs> but uh, I went up to her and says, is there any chance I can get down to the floor uh, to get closer to the, to the band? 
And uh, she goes, uh, oh, you're sitting way up here. And I says, yeah, I'm on my own. Is there any chance I can get, uh, get closer? And she goes, give me a second. And uh, she went and uh, found this girl. She came over to me and uh, she had a head a headpiece on. So she had uh-huh. like, uh, a headpiece on with a mic and everything. She goes, uh, just follow me. And I followed her down and she actually brought me to the the the, the floor were uh, closer to uh, Billy Joe Armstrong. So oh I was wow! Only, yeah, so I was only like, I was only like a few meters away from Billy Joe. That's I was able to catch his hat. That's how close I was uh, at the end of the gig. But, that's amazing. Mm, but the part that's not amazing is uh, when they started to play "Time of Your Life." <laughs> <laughs> And I thought it was Wonderwall, uh, and I was like, I was pretty drunk, and there was a, there were, I was, I just met these three guys, and um, I was actually thinking about it now, uh, that's kind of creepy, when I think about it now, because if I was sixteen and all four of us, I took off my top and I was swinging around because I was drunk as fuck, and then they took off their top, that was that's kind of creepy. They joined in with a sixteen year old. Um, <laughs> I probably didn't realize. Yeah, they were drunk as well, by the way. But when I was swinging my top when I was drunk, I, and they started playing Time of Your Life, um, and me shouting out, fuck it. Oh my God, it's fucking Wonderwall. It's fucking Wonderwall. <laughs> They're playing Wonderwall. And everybody <laughs> around me looking at me going, what the fuck is wrong with you? Jesus Christ. I don't know if that's the most embarrassing part of my life, though. Mm, I wonder... I'm trying to think what would be more embarrassing. That, uh, that's pretty embarrassing, though. Um, God, what would be more <clears throat> more embarrassing? I don't know. Uh, well, I've shit myself on stream. Um, <laughs> we know about that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that one's pretty embarrassing, shitting yourself on stream. Well, I didn't mean to. You know, I was hungover. Yeah. And was it? Wasn't it a donation? Yeah, no, I think you got, you jumped or something. Yeah, it made you jump and it just... I know I was hungover. I know I was hungover <laughs> for death and, and I, I think I was trying to get drunk again. And I know it was like uh, a donation that came through. I think it was maybe from, was it from Killer Boy or Meh? It could have been one of the two. It could have been yeah. from Killer or Meh. I remember. Um, but <clears throat> I remember that moment but the, the, again has that ever happened to you and next i'm not saying about no i haven't shouted <laughs> <laughs> you, seriously like has that ever happened to you on stream no i'm not talking about shitting yourself <clears throat> like like you're on stream and then all of a sudden you don't mean to do something accidentally and it's like an, oh fuck moment in your head even though you think that people are not um People don't know that it happened to you, but you know what happened to you. Do you get me? Do you know what I mean? Um. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Um. Trying to think if it has been a time. Um. Sorry, I'm just drinking a bottle of water. But no, that's all right. Um. I, I suppose. Well, I suppose it wasn't really close, but like sometimes it just gets so warm streaming. Mm. Like if I'm wearing a cardigan or something, I have to take it off. Sometimes you, <laughs> you might have a little top slip. But no. <laughs> top slip? I've never heard. Yeah. I've heard a nipple slip. A top slip? What the fuck is that? <laughs> no, you, your top slips off your shoulder a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nixie revealing right. a bit of. <laughs> okay, okay. There, ha- there hasn't actually been a nip slip, so don't go looking through no, my no, not, streams I'm or not, anything. I'm, <laughs> not, I'm just saying, oh, sexy. <laughs> Nixie, Nixie, you give it a little bit of a uh, shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll be showing off the ankles next. So. Oh, Jesus, you bad bitch. You bad, <laughs> <laughs> bad bitch. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Fucking, um, the most embarrassing moment. I can't think of any. Now, off the top of my head, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. Is what about it... um, that phone call What's we had one? a week ago? Oh, well, I wouldn't call that embarrassing. I just call that a fucking I'm getting old moment. Okay. You know, uh, like it's that, uh, it's that moment in time. Like I, you see, I don't use my phone that often. Like I don't ring people that often. I normally either text or just like use the internet. Yeah. I don't really call anybody. So if I'm like, I don't know, I've never really left a, a voicemail ever. Thinking about it, I've never really left a voicemail. Um. 
because I think no, I'm quite awkward because you're not getting any feedback from anybody, so you're like. Yeah, uh, so you don't uh, know if you're going to talk to yourself. You like you feel like I could do it no problem. Like if I'm talking to myself now, I could talk away to myself because there's mental, um, many people in my head. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I don't know if I could like. Uh, I just felt awkward. You know, I felt awkward. And I didn't know what to do. Is that weird? No, no, no. Because I, I mean, when I'm doing making a voice uh, mail message. I sometimes forget what I'm going to say, and then I'm like, damn it, I put the phone down, and then I end up ringing back and say, like, oh, I forgot that. <laughs> you panic, you panic then because you don't know what yeah. you said or do. No, I don't think that's an embarrassing moment, though. I don't think that is one. Um, I'm trying to think, what did anything happen to me in school or um, back in the, when I used to do Irish Jackass or stuff like that? Well, I'm looking back at Irish Jackass now, yes, it's cringy and stuff. Yeah. Um, like it's really well. It's, like that's when I was sixteen too, as well. So when I'm not watching them videos back, like that's an, that's kind of an embarrassing moment, I guess. Uh, but when I was doing that stuff back in the day, like I I, I thought it was funny, you know. <laughs> I don't really get that embarrassed. I don't get like I don't get embarrassed at all. You see, um, it's really hard to embarrass me. But um, oh, I get easily embarrassed. <laughs> Oh, right. I end up doing such the ditziest stuff. Um, oh, you don't say? But you're quite smart. Why, why do you... I don't understand. You're quite smart, are you not? I think... I think for me, I end up overthinking things. And then I end up just... I don't know. End up saying something just very, very quickly. And then I thought... And then I think back and... Yeah. <laughs> I was well, like, why did I say that? <laughs> but do you not think it's funny, right? Does this not an embarrassing moment right now? This is not an embarrassing moment right now where uh, where you're actually uh, having a cup of tea and a glass of wine at 11.48 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's logical. <laughs> I need caffeine and a little bit of alcohol. I don't know. Like, I, could, I don't know. How, like, so, we'll, we'll continue the embarrassing in a second, but... How can you do that? I can, like if I have a beer right now, I would have to continue. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to stop. <laughs> that says a lot about me, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> that says a lot. Yeah, no, I can stop though. That's the thing. Yeah, like I drink to get drunk. You know. Uh, you know actually, I know you like can't understand it, but I enjoy like maybe just a couple of glasses and then be done with it. But. Yeah, I, I just, I don't, yeah. I, like, I, I enjoy getting drunk. The reason I drink is to get drunk, because I like the feeling, and then I can cry, and then, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can cry without being embarrassed. There we go, we're back to embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can cry without being embarrassed, because then I'm drunk, and then I can be like, And again, you shouldn't be embarrassed about showing emotion. Ah, well, so. I... <laughs> right, the next one, the next topic from Char is uh, browser history. I think we already dived into mine. Fucking hell. Jesus. Diving into my browser history was just there five months ago of me looking at uh, different categories of, of porn. Um, <laughs> I don't really think I have that much in my browser history. Let me just check. Um, I really don't think so. I think it's mostly... David Bowie, uh, Fallout 76, Armour, uh, Hot Mouth, uh, (laughs) (laughs) uh, let's see, uh, Walking Dead, there's nothing really, nothing really, um, obscure in mine, so it's really, uh, Walking Dead, music, but I, I suppose, I suppose a lot of, um, a lot of my stuff, a lot of my stuff would be music anyway because it's like, it's connected to my Twitch. So every time, yeah, same. yeah. So it'll be always, it'll be always like, like I'm looking right here right now. The Lumineers, um, there's Capaldi, um, Wolf Tones, Tenacious D, Motorhead, um, Pink Guy, please stop calling me gay. Um, Wings of a Bo- it's all music, M- music and Twitch. Uh, because I don't really use this PC for anything else. No. Um, because I'm never really on this PC. Amazon. Um, 
Mine's very similar, apart from mine's got Jackbox, 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 Jackbox. Oh, really? Does it actually? <laughs> yeah. Are you looking at yours right now? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much Twitch, tiny bit of Facebook, YouTube. Pay- yeah. PayPal. Yeah, I'm yeah. not really that exciting. People might be thinking, oh, Graham, probably jacking off and wanking off to everything. I'm not really that. See, I don't use this computer for any anything except Twitch and YouTube and... Um, a little bit of porn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Omegle. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really here. Nothing really here at all. That I can actually say. It's mostly just music twitch and, and uh, a little bit of PayPal. and Like, seriously, I'm looking at all this and there's nothing here that's exciting. Seriously. I'm, no. It is born as... Gmail? Oh, there's still a new Gmail. 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 Night, Nightbot. <laughs> Nightbot. Uh, how to combine two microphones together in a stream? Uh, N64. Buy an N64 on uh, on eBay, Amazon. Let's see. Uh, where can I buy ruffles in Ireland? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh Again, it's all the same shit. It's all YouTube and, and um, <clears throat> YouTube, Twitch, mini fridges, green screens. Looking at the scratch, Twitter. Uh, there's nothing really here, to be quite honest. Nothing really exciting. I know that uh, people might be. Oh, there's Cajon. Where buy my Cajon? Jackbox. Why did I have Jackbox on the PC? I don't remember that at all. Uh, did you play a game once? Not on the... I don't remember on the PC. You must have accidentally clicked it or something. CD keys, YouTube. Yeah. There's nothing here. There's nothing seriously exciting. I'm sorry for that. Sorry for the Discord... Sorry, guys, for Discord asking me about my browser history. The only thing exciting there was mouth. (laughs) 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 Mouth. Um, Let's see. Um... I love the way that when people put in a topic, right, into the Discord topic page, I love the way yeah. people actually start having a conversation about that topic. Like, yeah. <laughs> like uh, Hypno was saying about snake porn, cursed games and images. Cursed games and images. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> there's one that sticks out in my mind um, that terrifies me, and I know it terrifies you shaky as well. Um, and I actually, I actually put it up on my stream yeah. once. Um, is that, um, you know, that creepy one? I won't say its name because, uh, no. if, uh, Shaky does listen to this, he doesn't want to get images of the, of the bitch. But, uh, no, that terrified me. That terrified me when I first saw it. I was like, fuck. Like, even now thinking of it, my kind of like, I, I get kind of like shivers in my head. It's like a, a shivers in my head. I don't know if it, that happens to you, but it happens yeah. to me sometimes when I see like images, like images that kind of like scare me or something like that there I get like wee tingles in my head and I don't know what it is I think it's just um I mean there is something actually that does make me like freak out a little bit and I think it's a similar thing for you because it's actually um it's through Legend of Zelda oh it's the (laughs) the eyes of Link no it's actually a different thing altogether it's from Majora's Mask I don't know if you can you know the um Link statue. Oh yeah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of. Well, yeah. Have you? I mean, I'm guessing you've heard of the creepy pasta oh, Ben yeah, Brown. Of course. Of course yeah, yeah, that yeah. terrifies it. I mean, I, I know there's like a mod of it, like the, <laughs> yeah. of the story, but oh, just that face. I can't deal with that face. Uh, the wee, the wee grin, or yeah, just he just stares blankly at you, and I just I just can't. Oh, it's horrible. You do realize that people are going to start doing that to you now and send pictures of that to you now, Nixie, don't you? Oh, I have to find out what their fears <laughs> are. <laughs> Dish it back. <laughs> But I even saying that, like, there's some stuff that, as well that really creeps me out. Like, and people used to, the people used to get really scared and really um, with low uh, lavender towns music. Yeah. Remember there was that doesn't really bother me, funnily enough. Doesn't bother me either. I thought, it, like, for some reason, it doesn't. It, dun, 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 it doesn't get me. It doesn't. Um, uh, uh, do, uh, by the way, this is from Pokemon. If you don't know uh, where it's from. Um, 
It's a v- weird, creepy music. Apparently, made a lot of children sick in Japan, or something. I think that's where the creepy pasta uh, came from. Yeah, but they changed the um, audio, didn't they? Yeah, they changed the frequency of it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's a, a true thing or whatever, but um, I'm not sure. I can't think of any other creepy images uh, that uh, that creep me out. Do you have any? Uh, I've actually thought of one, and <laughs> you troll me with it sometimes. Oh, the fiend! Yeah, the fiend. Why does that get you though? I don't. I don't know because I, I think I've always been a little bit funny with like clown, for, like I don't know, because mm. some clown faces. I don't know. It's just <laughs> it's, it's demonic. It's really funny because I'm all right with like is another wrestler Finn Balor's. Um, Demon. Of course but you're, when it comes, of course you're all right with Finn Balor. Yeah, I'm all right with Finn Balor. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not because he's like half naked or anything. <laughs> mm. But yeah, in terms of the, fa- it's just the face. I don't know. I quite like it. I think it's a really good design. I, it doesn't... It's a brilliant design, but I don't know. It's just when it pops out at you. Oh, sorry, <laughs> mic abuse. Um, yeah, when it pops out at you, it just ugh, it freaks me out. But now I can sort of tell when you're about to do it because you play the music first. I'm like, okay, I can look away. <laughs> I haven't done it in ages, though. I haven't done it. No, I know. Um, <laughs> uh, there was one moment in another video game that got me as well. It was like a uh, really creepy... I think it was like uh, in Pokemon. Like Pokemon Black and White, maybe? With Gar- Garatina? Um... There's one moment where you go into this like in a par- parallel universe. Is it maybe it's Diamond and Pearl? I'm thinking of. You go into this parallel universe and everything's like upside down, and then all of a sudden the, the whole screen goes black and it's just uh, these eyes looking at you. Or something. Oh, I can't remember. It's like from one of the Pokemon games, like, and it was a really creepy moment. And there's another creepy moment. And I think it's in X and Y where it's Mimikyu. And you're like in another, you're like in this room and there's nothing in the room and then all of a sudden it's behind you or it's like a, a jump, kind of like a jump scare. Um, you see, that's why I think jump scares and stuff like that there are yeah. cheap as hell. Uh, like I'm a big horror fan anyway. I don't yeah. Know, I don't know if you knew that, but I'm mm. a big horror fan. So like jump scares to me are cheap. Like if you can creep me out uh, through like Halloween being a good example, uh, the very first Halloween, it it was creepy and scary on its own because there was no jump scares really, and uh, it, there was barely any blood in that film. I think there was barely any gore. Did you ever play um, the PT demo? No. The PS. Oh my goodness, that that would have scared you. Oh, if you manage to get hold of hold of it somehow, you should play it. Oh, why is that? <laughs> why is that? Do you want to see me be like a ah? You see, I do an odd thing. See, yeah, watch I, your sh- watch your shut yourself again. <laughs> no, no, I'll tell you. Before I became a Twitch streamer, right? Um, I used to do like YouTube videos with uh with my uh group of friends of mine, and um, I remember we were trying to play Until Dawn. I think it just came out. Uh, came out Until Dawn. It was, and um. I remember I was playing it, and uh, the other person was watching me playing it, and I, I couldn't I couldn't play it because there was this whole creepy atmosphere to it, and I knew there was uh, I think it's a uh, Wendigo that's actually in the game. Yeah, that's it. And uh, I actually had to give the controller. I was what age was I? About. 20, 21. I actually had to give the controller to, to that person and I remember pretending to look at the screen the whole time but I was actually looking down at the ground but I was pretending oh. to look at the screen because I was too scared to look at what was going on. Oh. <laughs> I was too scared to look at the screen. But even there, playing Fallout 76, when I seen the Wendigo in Fallout 76, it actually, first time playing it, I never knew anything about a Wendigo or whatever. When I first saw it, I was like, fuck me, that's terrifying. Because they, <laughs> they make it even more creepier in Fallout 76 than the actual, what it actually looks like in like, Until Dawn. They make it a oh, lot, really? Yeah, wow. it's, it's a lot more. And there's more of a backstory to it as well. That I think that the backstory makes it even more creepier. It's like... Um, a person that is like uh, like very greedy in their in their real life and wants all money and stuff like that. They only cares about themselves. They start to get hungry, but they're st- they they start to get hungry and start eating uh, humans and uh, different other animals. And 
they'll never like gain body fat they'll always stay thin and basically as a mm-hmm. skeleton so it's kind of like the the backstory to a wendigo is pretty creepy um <clears throat> I'm trying to think, even remember the first time playing Fallout, uh, Fallout 3, even the Super Mutants back then when I first played it, when I was about, what, 17 maybe? Like, they creeped me out and so did the ghouls. I remember the ghouls used to creep me out as well because the graphics were that bad. <laughs> the <laughs> graphics were that bad. Well, they, were, they weren't that bad, but they were pretty, they were pretty awful. Um, they still are. Uh, but even playing them back in the day, like they, they, ghouls and stuff used to creep me out. I don't think there was any cursed images now. That, by the way, this question is from uh, this uh, topic's from uh, Hypno as well. This is another one from Hypno. Um, I don't think there's anything that really freaks me out now as an adult. I don't think there is. Um, is there anything? Let's think. Uh, like uh, with creepy passes and stuff, that doesn't really get me. Um, See, I think I'm more bothered by gore than actual like jump scares and stuff. Oh, really? I, yeah. I think anything a bit gory, I'm a bit like squeamish. When I was young, <laughs> when I was young okay, fair enough. When I was really young, say like about fourteen, fifteen. Um, I'll even I'll even talk about this as well. Uh, but when I was about fourteen and fifteen. Uh, I actually had to get used to watching like horror and stuff so I would actually buy like box sets of like Nightmare on Elm Street and Halloween and so uh, f- uh, nah Saw's not really scary to me Saw's more like just gore and that's not really scary to me but um uh Friday the 13th I remember when I was trying to watch that stuff when I was a kid just to c- try and get used to the horror genre because I liked horror uh but I just I, it's it took me a while to get into it I think it was Scream that actually got me into the, like, the horror genre. But yeah. when I started like, uh, like watching these movies, there was one type of movie I couldn't watch and that was anything with zombies. It just terrified me the fact that, that I don't know why that terrified me, but the fact that that something looks so human, um, something that looks so human is dead and it can actually... Yeah. Like that used to terrify me as a kid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And now it's one of my favorite genres. Horror, uh, zombies, uh, zombie, zombie movies are my favorite genre now. Like, uh, like one of my favorite sh- shows is Walking Dead. But um, like I could watch anything with zombie movies now. But back when I was a kid, I remember, I remember even when I was even younger than that. Um, when I was younger than that, uh, I remember I had to ask my teacher. I was only about seven or eight. I remember I had to ask my teacher, could I leave the room when they had safety videos on? Because... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I had to leave... It because I was terrified of the fact of someone dying. And and I know now as, as an, uh, an adult that was... Uh, that was acted and then all this here. But I remember there was one scene it was like a fireman safety video because um, a lot of uh, a lot of people that went to that school were like uh, brought up on a farm even though I was like from a town. Um, they were brought up on a farm. And I remember this one scene where the kid climbs a ladder and uh, he's like lying on a like a bunch of hay and it's really like it's really high in a barn and then his father comes and with a pitchfork and starts uh, oh. yeah it was really oh, no. I remember it it was scary as hell I remember as a kid watching it I was like I want to leave I, w- I need to leave um, but even if we go back to one topic here we'll go back to the embarrassing story because I just thought of one yeah uh, an embarrassing story when I first went to the school because we had to move school because my sister was getting bullied so we had to move school and um, when we moved school uh, I remember the very first day and I was about 8 or 9 and I remember um, I was nervous and shy isn't that weird now saying the story when I'm I'm like the social <laughs> slut of the internet um, back then <laughs> when I was 8 or 9 when I went into the, this new class with everybody uh, that I didn't know, I started crying in front of the whole class, and uh, I had to run out and chase after my mum just to go home because I was scared. And it was I, I was in second class. Uh, we call it, like in Ireland's different to the UK, but it was uh, it was second class. I remember, and all the kids looking at me and me crying because I didn't know what to do or what was going on. So I remember that. That's an embarrassing yeah. story. Now thinking about it. Um, but uh, what about yourself? What about you? Can you watch any? Can you watch any like them kind of weird? Um, you no, know, them kind of like Annabelle or 
the know that non farm um what's that non farm called oh i haven't seen that uh, that one looks terrible <laughs> what is it called oh, we should have done our research for that shit <laughs> Yeah, we should have done. Um, oh my god, the worst podcast on the internet. <laughs> I there... don't know why I want to say the pacifist, but I don't think it is that, is it? Oh, uh, what was it called? The Shining gets me, hey. The Shining. Oh, yeah. There's one oh, the, What about the ring? The ring? Yeah, the ring's not yeah. too bad. I don't mind the ring. I think the ring's not too bad. Um... But uh, the shining, there's some scenes in the shining that still gets me. When I seen when we went and seen um, Ready Player One, um, where they went into the big mansion and the garden in the bathtub scene came up, uh, I think it got me again because it's that scene is fucking terrifying. Um, and the two twins are creepy in that film too. Yeah. Uh, the but uh, right, we'll go into our next topic. Going to the next topic, how you met each other and also the people you have met online. So you can tell the story. I'm not quite sure how we met. Um, so obviously I started speaking to you on Twitch. Yeah. Um, but I first came into the channel through um, a streamer called Tanneric. Mm. Um, and then I popped in a few more times after watching um, Chippy NPC stream. Mm. Um. But yeah, ever since then, I have stuck around. <laughs> like, and I don't know why. I, I was dead, I <laughs> was it because you got because Tanneric stopped streaming? Was it because of that? No, I think just generally because I mean Chippy would often just um, come into your channel quite often, and then yeah, just I mean yeah, Tanneric did start channel did start to die down, and I think yeah, and also I think the time as well you were streaming, there was no one else on. Mm. Um. But yeah, you're a funny bugger. Oh, cheers, <laughs> cheers, cheers. Watch that language. <laughs> Hang on, you're telling me to watch my language. Bugger? Uh, watch <laughs> funny bugger. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny, like, because I don't think you would actually, like, if it wasn't because of Tanneric, I don't think you would actually find my channel. Well, not, maybe if you were, like, searching for Jackbox or whatever. Um, yeah. Eventually, you would have stumbled across my channel, but yeah. uh, but I would. Then again, I might have also stumbled across you through Sharkade as well. Yeah, but I think I found Sharkade through Tanrick as well. Oh, how bizarre! <laughs> yeah, because Tanrick, I remember Tanrick coming to my stream, and this was when he he was starting off, and like he donated a big mind of bits whatever um i think he wanted advertising or something uh which yeah. i did do which i did do in fairness uh, this was when i <laughs> lived in my ba- uh, no, in my old house um this is way back oh jesus this is about two years ago and um i seen that he was like following up maybe i didn't find Tarek through i don't know uh sharky through i don't know i can't remember but i know like the first time i properly met you was in london yes yeah um yeah twitch meets yeah twitch meets in london last year um the first time we ever met each other um an odd moment in uh hunting out of games history uh i can't remember did i find you or did you find me um i think because we were already there and then like where are you <laughs> You and te- you said on your way, yeah. I was think I texting you through Discord or was I texting you through uh, Twitch? I, I think it was. I think it was Discord. Maybe. Jeez, when you think I can't of- even remember. Yeah, I can't remember it either. I can't remember because uh, I remember arriving with uh, Sean and Jade. I remember arriving and I think we went up to get a drink. And you were texting me, and I said that I was at the... Because Saul was there already as well. I think Saul was there. Yeah. And I don't know if, even know if Enya was there. Uh, I can't remember. Shit, now, they came down later, didn't they? Enya and that's a year Chippy ago. and that. That was a year ago, and I can't I know. Remember. Fuck. Um... So I think I was like standing in line getting a drink with Saul. Yeah. Uh, or Sean. Can't remember. I think it was Saul. And um, I can't even remember how I met them either. I can't remember. Um, I think I was texting them at the same time as I was texting you guys. Um, and that's where I met Saul. 
and uh, Deadly and um, uh, uh, I can't remember the other, other guys. Uh, but I remember us sat online. And I think I was texting you, and you says we're up we're up on the right hand side. Oh yeah, we're up in the stands. Yeah, I think. Yeah, and then we find you eventually. Um, that was such an odd day. It was such an odd day because there was such a bit. I love the photo of all of us together. That's a really cool. Photo. Yeah, I love that photo. Um, that's a really cool photo of like you do realize when when we go to TwitchCon next year, it's going to be a lot bigger. It's going to be a bigger photo than that. <laughs> you do realize there's going to be. Are we all going to fit in? There's so many people going to be in that photo, um, but. It's good to look, have that photo as well because it's something to look back on that we've done in our history. Even if, even yeah. if me and you fall out in the future, um, and uh, we lose our friendship, at least we. Uh, well, I don't think that'll ever happen, but um, no. I think like it's something that we both have is that photo, which is unreal to have. Like, there's so many people on that photo that that uh, that I still talk to. Um, not as much now. Not as much now as I, I've I've noticed. It's good to see Chappy coming in once in a blue moon. Yeah. Um, I talked to Enya once in a blue moon. She's busy, you see, with her with her job. I know. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, I do. I, I do enjoy talking to them people. But uh, Saul, I haven't talked to Saul in about six months uh, because he's busy. Um, and again, people have their own lives as well. So I don't want to be bother them and half the time I'm not awake <laughs> I think I just pop in and like just send them a message now and again just to see if they're all okay and but even so I mean that, I think I, I sent I sent a person a message there uh, I met last year at TwitchCon and I don't know how she's doing uh, she never replied to the message is Carmi um, oh Carmi yeah I don't know if she's seen the message because I don't know if she uh, she uses uh, did I send her through Instagram I might have sent her through Instagram but uh, I wonder how she's doing um, but with all the people that uh, we've met through the years it is crazy like I've got a lot of great friends from just Twitch and over through uh, over through uh, like different parts of the world like yeah I know you what two years now Say uh, yeah but just over two years I think yeah two years of Nixie um, oh god <laughs> two years of Nixie uh, Jesus it sounds like a, a bad porno <laughs> Two years of Nixie. Um, no, I I know you for at least two years. Um, I know Enya for a year and a half, I'd say. Um, or maybe even two years as well. Maybe. I can't think. Because you all started coming in at one. I don't even know. I can't even remember how Enya uh, started following my channel. By the way, this uh, question is for uh, this uh, topic's from Char. Um, I can't remember how I even met Enya. Probably Sharkade as well, maybe? Possibly. Um, trying to think of other people. Yeah, probably it was through Sharkade. Um, and I don't even know how he's doing either because I haven't talked to him in a while either. Because I don't I don't know if he's on Twitch anymore or is he on that other platform? Um, um, I think he's... I don't know if he's going to use the other platform, but he was talking about... Because I've spoken to him sort of recently. Mm. Um, thinking of coming back next month. The funny thing but. is, funny thing is, I always saw him as my rival. Um, oh. Yeah, because it was always like I remember I was checking um, because we, me and him was. All, I remember it was around. I think I had a thousand followers, and he was like at eight hundred followers. But we we're still good friends, like. But yeah. I always thought of him as my rival, so we were always like compete. I remember there was that moment when I moved house, where he had more followers than me for about a about a month, and I was like. Shit, he's beating me. I have to step up my game. <laughs> <laughs> I have to step up my game. Jesus, I can't, can't do that. Can't let a guy do that to me. But uh, like, you, you, whole pile of friends that I've met online. Like I've met Chippy, met Anya, met you, met Saul, um, uh, Minecraft, Supermask. Uh, Jesus, there's so many, so many people that we've uh, that we've talked to, uh, and now our friends. Um, but like I think the banter between you and Supermask is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is funny. But I think we have a joint like thought in just winding Minecraft up. Yeah. It, it's just funny. <laughs> yeah. like, but then again, I wind up Supermask as well, to be fair. 
But but, <laughs> yeah. but I, like even with the like the mentions of May idiot and stuff like that there, like they're like and I miss the bastard even like wish ways and all I'm just looking at here fire bubble yeah. all the people oh. that uh, come in and like like I I think like the best people I've met is the best people I could still talk to like even on discord and stuff um, yeah and outside like a few people that um a few people that actually I would talk to a lot are actually my facebook friends I, I don't even think we're facebook friends are we no, I don't think so. Oh, but I very no, 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 no. I very rarely use uh, Facebook. It's only for me. <laughs> I don't really use it to be honest. No. You wouldn't. Be, you probably wouldn't be able to get hold of me through it. To be fair. <laughs> you know how, you know how now Nexi feels about me. We're not true friends. We're not Facebook mm. friends. <laughs> no. <laughs> she just Ooh, uses friends. me for my views. She just uses me for my views and my uh, <laughs> my way of getting people affiliate. <laughs> hey, I've got your Twitter. I've got you on Insta. Uh, what do you want? Uh, yeah. Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Uh, next question: Three things you would tell yourself as a kid, or when you were young, and three things you would tell the other person then and now. Three things you would tell yourself as a kid. Next thing, what do you think? Uh, oh, this is probably gonna get really serious. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So. Don't suck dick oh. in first date. I never did that. <laughs> Who says I'm talking about you? <laughs> what? You what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, no, no, no. Well, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Right, continue. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> oh, no. uh, what are you um, uh, I think from like first thing, like do what makes you happy. I say when I was younger, I was a bit of a pushover as a kid and. I, I mean, I love seeing people happy, and I'd like to make, you know, people feel happy. <laughs> but you. sometimes you just, haha. <laughs> 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 so like sometimes I just, I don't know, needed a little nudge to tell me that I shouldn't deprive myself of a, my own happiness. Yeah. Like. I get that. Yeah. I get that. Is there any others? Um. <laughs> probably. So I know I'm a bit of an overthinker, mm. but th- usually just think over things before you do them or say them. Yeah. Like, don't get distracted. Yeah. Um, I mean, when I was younger, because I, I, like I said, I'm quite ditzy. Um, I ended up getting distracted by so I can't even remember what it was now. I think my sister had. Oh, I don't know what she'd done. She'd broken a model I'd built or something, mm. but I'd left the tap running in the bathroom. Okay. And I ended up flooding my whole kitchen. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. Wait, no, well, even though I had a little bit of a... Oh, I was so annoyed because the overflow in the sink didn't work, but I just left the plug in with the tap running. <laughs> Why did you And just that? went off to... Huh? Why did you do that? I got, like I said, I got distracted. When I was young, I used to get easily distracted by things. And I would just... <laughs> I, I don't know, I think I was washing my hands, but I put the... Oh, I mean, that's why probably a lot of things don't have, like, plugs nowadays. Mm. <laughs> but, um, kids like you. <laughs> yeah, kids like me. But no, I think the worst thing about it was I... Um, I suppose that is quite an embarrassing story as well. Yeah, that's pretty uh, fucked. Why did you not bring that up? What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't even think. See, again, not thinking. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I ended up because it flooded. It didn't really flood the bathroom. It went down into the overflow. Um, some of it did go on the floor, but the overflow wasn't working properly. Did it actually? Um, did so, it actually and, so, flood it? Did it actually flood so it? from upstairs, it went all the down the walls in the kitchen and it got into the sockets in the kitchen. Jeez. And my mum went, what the f- <laughs> used a few choice words and the worst thing is they had newly decorated it oh, so I was no. in big what age, trouble what, what age were you? 8 or 9? Jesus yeah I was in big trouble she said I'm going to have to call your father I was like no <laughs> I was in <laughs> to serious call your father? hello <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what your daughter's done you never guess what Joey Nixie just did <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. Alexi just flooded the whole kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be home now, honey. <laughs> Apparently, it, it ended up not too bad, but it was just because the water was in the socket, the the um, light fit in. So, oh. man, that could Eesh. be really dangerous. Mm. Um. Then again, we had a lot of trouble with that house, though. Because at one point, um, we went out, all of us as a family went out to the park or something like that. I love the way, before you continue, I love the way that you're blaming the incident on the house. (laughs) 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 It was the the house's fault that flooded. There was so much wrong with that house. Um, What were you saying there, (laughs) Sorry, we ended up going, I don't know, it was the park or to a restaurant or something, because... I said, oh, let's go out for a drive. Let's just go somewhere. Mm. We came back and the living room ceiling had totally collapsed. Fuck. That all the plaster had completely fallen. Um, funny enough, I haven't actually got it with me, but there's actually a photo of me. <laughs> they call me Cinderella because I've got like this broom and trying to sweep up all this plaster that has fallen from the ceiling. <laughs> Jesus, that's mad. You were lucky you were yeah. there when that happened. I know. I don't know what caused it, but it was literally like we came back and like half the ceiling had gone. Like That's crazy. <laughs> um, I think three things you would tell yourself as a kid. Um, for myself, fuck. Uh, I was very shy as a kid, you know. Like I was. A, yeah. I was really shy. I was like, I think it was what about the age of seventeen or maybe sixteen. That I just, I was sitting in my room and going like, because I didn't really talk to girls and stuff when, and because I was really shy. I was really extremely shy, like when I was a kid. Um, I wouldn't even uh, talk, like I, I think my first kiss was when I was 16 or something like there because I was really terrified about, uh, and don't get me wrong before anybody thinks, yes, I did have girls asking to kiss me. I wasn't ugly. Oh. I wasn't ugly. I was a Not handsome ugly. I had a chin. I had a chin back then. <laughs> Not just a ball of flab now. I had a chin back then. I used to be handsome. What happened? Um, but uh, what I think it was because I was so shy. I remember. I think it was in. I was in my room, and uh, I was about sixteen or seventeen. And I remember saying, "Graham, what the fuck's wrong with you? Just have the balls. Have the balls. Just do it. Just do it. They're people. Have the balls. Do." It. I think having that wee pep talk actually helped, um, and just. I think it was just like I was going out to meet my friends and just they had a few girls around and I think uh yeah I think it was that we I was like if I was uh if I was I had to talk to myself as a kid again I would just say don't be as shy and embrace embrace uh the way you're gonna be when you're an adult because like I, another regret I do have I have one regret I wish I started Twitch um earlier than I did instead of just doing the YouTube thing. Uh, Twitch happened for, for like, Twitch happened by accident for me. Like, it was completely by accident for me when I started doing Twitch. Yeah. Because it was just me and Ashi when we were drinking one night and we just says, do you want to do this? Do you want to uh, do it live and see if we get people in? And then it just grew from that. And, like, I wish I thought about the idea of doing Twitch um, maybe when I was in my very first flat. Uh, in my very first flat, you see, um, if I would have done Twitch back then, Jesus, I would have got noise complaints, but, um, God, I wish I started, like, at the age of 21, and see what, where I would be. Maybe, maybe it's, it's a good thing that I didn't start at the age I am now, because if I started at the age of 21, maybe I wouldn't have the followers I have now, you know? Yeah, that's true. Because you don't know what would be the outcome. You, you would not have a clue what the outcome would have been, um... If I did start at the age of 21. But uh, another thing as well as a kid. I wish I was like. As a kid I wish I was more. um, I wasn't. I was. I was social. But remember I said I was shy. I was social. But. um, I was really shy. But I wish I was more like. I was like. When I was in secondary school. I was like a social butterfly. So yeah, I would, that, was, that was the most manly way I could put it. When that, oh, I love social butterfly. <laughs> social butterfly. So I would like, I would like go over to like where all the the posh people are, make them laugh, and then go over to where all the jocks were, make them laugh. Go over to all the nerds, make them laugh. Like I was always able to be like flying around different groups and uh, being able to make people have a wee giggle. 
And I think that I always was, hated that though, the groups. Yeah, just but, hated Yeah, I hate that yeah. as well. I hate that as well. That's why I, I said before, I, I never really fit it in. I never really fit it in in a group uh, of people because it was just like, oh, there's that weird kid again. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, Nixie, this is the first podcast that we just did. Um, oh, wow. I know. Is that over? An hour already? Imagine that. An hour already. Um, so, what do you think of your first experience on the podcast with me? That's my it was co- good. My wee co host. I'm, not, I'm more relaxed now. Yeah, did I, <laughs> I didn't actually did touch a drop of wine. <laughs> no, I'm proud. I'm, no, actually, I didn't actually touch it. Did, so, really? I am proud of myself. Yes. What are you going to do with it now? Drink it. <laughs> 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 I was just gonna go off. Sorry. Otherwise, it's going to go off. You, it's gonna go warm. And... You can't put it back in the bottle, can you? No. Yeah. I don't drink wine, so I don't know. I don't know. No, the air's already got to it, so yeah, I've got to drink it. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, were you doing anything? Are you left in like? Are you going to a building site today? Or are you driving today? Are you going to a construction site to lift some heavy material? <laughs> I don't think they'll let you on the site. <laughs> By the way, next is a boulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, short and stocky. Yeah, <laughs> Bring she, it up. <laughs> she is the bald. She is the bald and blocks of our friendship. Um, oh. Ah, you like that, didn't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to our very first podcast with me and Nexi. I hope you thank enjoyed you. it. Uh, anything? Anything else you want to say before the end of it? I'm looking forward to answering more questions <laughs> next time. Christ, we only got. We only. We only got what. A few, a few done. We've got a few more to go. Jesus, from a, a few other people. Uh, again, everybody, thank you so much for listening. Uh, this is going to be uploaded every Saturday, every Saturday, so you can look forward to the the weekly podcast with me and Nexi. Um, uh, any last words? No. <laughs> thank you, the, guys. I love the, I love the <laughs> dead silence. Uh, the dead silence was great. Right, I'm everybody. Lead. See you. Uh, <laughs> see you for next uh, the next podcast, and we'll see you then. All right. Bye. Bye.